do you ever feel like you struggle with manifesting exactly what you want in your life? Where you're reading all of the right books, you're listening to all of the right audios, the right guided meditations, you have those on repeat, you're visualizing, you're affirming, you're doing it all, but things are not going according to plan. If that's you, well, you are in the right place because I'm going to share with you the four common traps that prevent people from attracting their heart's desires or achieving and getting what they want with their manifestation process. These common traps are not spoken about anywhere on the internet. And it makes sense why so many of you feel like you're struggling with your ability to manifest what you want because you don't, you're not aware of these traps. Because once you become aware of them, you can avoid them and you can really super accelerate your ability to manifest an epic life where you're able to have the health, the wealth, the love, the happiness that you know you are destined to create. And you know you are destined to create it because you've been experiencing guidance and inspiration to go down this certain route and to experience this certain lifestyle for quite some time now. So let us speak to the four common traps that hinder or prevent people from manifesting what they want in life. These might make you feel awfully uncomfortable as I speak to them because I know they make me feel awfully uncomfortable because I can reflect on my past and I'll perhaps share some examples and, and share my story as I point to these, but I can reflect on my past and be like, yeah, I totally, I totally fell into that trap for a long time and it prevented me from living an epic life where miracles happen on a daily basis. So trap number one that prevents people from manifesting what they want in life is the fear of moving beyond your community. I'll say that again, and then I'll speak to it and elaborate what I mean. The thing that prevents a lot of people for manifesting what they want in their life is the fear of moving beyond their community. In other words, in order for you to create your most epic life where you're, you're wildly confident, bold, and authentic, you're, you're going to have to leave people behind. And these are people who you love dearly. These are people who have been in your circle for your entire life or, or a really long time. And if you are unwilling to move beyond these people, they're, you're, going to, you're going to remain small, for a lack of a better way of saying it. And this doesn't mean um, burn your bridges and say F you to the people who are currently in your life and all you have to do is burn your bridges to achieve massive success. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there's people in your life who are not on the same track as you are. And so you have to be okay with evolving past those people and calling forth and attracting new people. And the really cool thing about this process is if somebody is actually meant to be in your life, they will be in your life. Even if you have this conversation, you're like, hey, I need to move on. I got to go do X, Y, and Z. If you have that conversation, if that person's meant to be in your life, they'll, they'll accept you unconditionally. They might be heartbroken for a little while, but they'll accept it. Um, and then you go do your thing. And if they're meant to be in your life, they will eventually match your frequency once again. But that is very different than just like staying there knowing that you have to go spread your wings. And this can be in regards to all types of relationships, intimate, friendship, family, your, where you live, everything that falls under the umbrella of your community. If you are unwilling to move beyond your community, you're going to regularly struggle with manifesting your dream life. So that's trap number one. Trap number two is not being able to discern guidance that comes from your higher mind 
or your physical mind. Another way of putting this is not being able to discern guidance that comes from your heart or your ego. If you are trying to manifest things that are being inspired by your physical mind or by your ego, you are always going to feel like you are swimming upstream and fighting a very intense battle. And sure, you might be able to swim far or you might be able to get somewhere cool, but it's not going to be enjoyable. It's not going to be worth it. You're going to suffer your success. But on the contrary, if you are, if you are able to discern the guidance that comes from your ego versus your heart, and you focus on manifesting what comes from your heart, you will super accelerate your ability to turn your imagination into physical reality. And one way to begin to practice discerning, is this coming from my heart or is this coming from my, he- my ego? The guidance that comes from your ego, it makes you, feel, it makes you feel disconnected. It makes you feel small. It makes you feel like there's limited resources and there's not enough time. That's the guidance that comes from your ego. That's what it's going to feel like. Guidance that comes from your heart, it, it's going to feel irrational. It's going to feel like, that doesn't make much sense. It's going to feel like people are going to misunderstand me. Or people might judge me if I do that. It's going to feel like I'm, I'm free, I'm abundant, I'm timeless. That's what guidance from your heart, from your higher mind feels like. If you focus on creating more of that or following that path, You'll avoid this fighting feeling from life. Common trap number three is thinking that your reality needs to change before you can feel a type of way. I'm reminded of one of my all-time favorite quotes by Frederick Kadatsin, written in his book, Parallel Universes of Self. He speaks to that the, fa- the fact that the prerequisite of well-being is well-being. The first time I read that, I was like, what? That's crazy. How can you say such a thing? And then he uses the classic example that if you were to look at yourself in the mirror, and if you're trying to affirm and get that mirror to change by saying to yourself, smile, 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 and you're not smiling, no matter how much you focus on trying to see that face shift, or no matter how intense or how long you affirm, it ain't going to change. The only way to get that mirror to change is for you to choose to smile. And the same thing is true when it comes to manifesting anything that you want. Okay, you, you acknowledge what it is that you want. It's a part of your soul's mission, your soul's path. It's what you're destined to do. Okay, why do you want that? How's it going to make you feel? Well, it's going to make me feel confident. It's going to make me feel financially free and abundant. Okay, what you have to do in order to get to that place physically is you have to give yourself that energetic state and that emotional state now. You've heard this many a times, and there's no way around it. So many people try to skirt by it, but there's no way around it. Surrender to that universal truth and give yourself the feeling now. As Neville Goddard would say, Occupy the state of your wish fulfilled now. Trap number four, and this is, I believe, the most common trap. I think number one is the the least talked about. Like you have to move beyond your community. Not many people talk about that. And trap number four is like the most common. And I don't think people are aware of really how impactful this can be. Trap number four is feeling like a failure or a loser. It's easy to get frustrated with life. Like, it makes sense. You you have expectations. They don't get met. Oh, you're frustrated. You want something to go a certain way. It doesn't. You get frustrated. But even with frustration, that's a different sensation than feeling like a failure and feeling like a loser. You can get frustrated, but you can still be in this state of like, okay, I'm using this as an opportunity to get better, to grow, to evolve, 
to open myself up even more compared to I get frustrated and I'm frustrated because I suck and it's never going to work out. In order for you to manifest your greatest life ever, you cannot tolerate any feelings of I'm a failure, I am a loser. There, there's no room for that with where you are going and where you want to go. So one of my all-time favorite quotes is, you must have really high expectations for yourself. And you must be aware of the fact that you are great and you are capable of amazing things. But you must combine that with zero self-judgment. You notice that voice of, man, I suck. It's never going to work out. You notice it, drop it. Do not focus and give that thought any energy because it's going to materialize and, and things will not be very enjoyable for you. One of the easiest ways to uh, go beyond the regular thoughts of I'm a failure, I'm a loser, is stop scrolling on social media. Stop comparing yourself to anybody. You got to drop it. You got to drop it. You got to drop it. Social media can be great for so many reasons, but it's also like the number one cause for I feel like a failure. And I feel like a failure because David and Susie clearly have more money than me and they're healthier than me and they're having better sex than me and blah, 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 blah. It's insane. Drop it. Go beyond that. So to wrap up this video, I'll quickly overview the four common traps so you can avoid them and so that you can come back to the books and the audios and the meditations and the affirmations and do all the things that you love, but make sure you're not doing these silly things. So trap number one is the fear of moving beyond your community. Trap number two is not being able to discern guidance that is coming from your ego versus guidance that is coming from your heart. In other words, what you should do versus like, what society has programmed you to do. Uh, number three, the trap of thinking that reality needs to change in order for you to feel the way that you want to feel. That is total BS. And trap number four is tolerating the feelings of I'm a failure, I'm a loser. If you're able to avoid those, if you're willing to avoid those, is a better way of putting it, your life is going to look drastically different than whatever it looks like right now because you are about to be on the fast track towards an epic life. If you enjoyed this, please share it with a friend. Talk to you soon.